a population on this planet have been looking for a savior. 90% of people believe in a higher power and every religion believes in some sort of messianic figure. And when the savior character actually comes to earth, we want to make him abide by our rules. We have to understand that this is a paradigm shift. We have to start thinking beyond politics. Are there any moral constraints on this person? We have international law on this earth. Every act is a political act. Is it really surprising that the most powerful man in the world should be a figure of controversy? To have an individual engaging in these state level interventions should give us all pause. The human beings have a horrible track record of following people of great power down paths that led to huge human atrocities. We have always created icons in our own image. What we've done is we project ourselves onto him. The fact is maybe he's not some sort of devil or Jesus character. Maybe he's just a guy trying to do the right thing. We're talking about a being whose very existence challenges our own sense of priority in the universe. And you go back to Copernicus, where he restored the sun in the center of the known universe, displacing Earth. And you get to Darwinian evolution, and you find out we're not special on this Earth, we're just one among other life forms. And now we learn that we're not even special in the entire universe because there is Superman. There he is, an alien among us. We're not alone. Are you, as a United States Senator, personally comfortable saying to a grieving parent, Superman could have saved your child, but on principle, we did not want him to act? I'm not saying he shouldn't act. I'm saying he shouldn't act unilaterally. What are we talking about here then? Must there be a Superman? There is.